Hello, Mrs. Zoom here, and I just want to give an update on my piercings. Um, I believe Thursday this week would make two weeks since I pierced my ears, my second hole in my ears, and I re-pierced the top. Well, actually, the back part was closed. Wow, well, I already explained this. I had this piercings for uh, up here for a long time in the cartilage. Um, and I re, you know, open the back with a needle, did a video on how I did that. So I'm just going to give an update on everything. Okay. As far as my cartilage, um, when I first re pierced the ear, it was fine. And at first I had like a pearl earring in there. It was a little, it was a it was a bigger earring. So since it didn't hurt and didn't bother me, plus it was just it was an old piercing. Um I took it out and replaced it with a smaller stud. And my ear, I believe that's when it got infected. It got infected a little bit because of the earring. I did soak the earring in alcohol, so, um, like, the back of my ear was, like, black. I don't know if you can see that. It's okay now. I'm going to tell you what I put up here. And, um, I was, I had a bump. It was a hypotrophic bump, and I was afraid it was going to keloid. So, what I did was, I did my regular cleaning, which the salt water cleanse. I put my salt water in my container here or sometimes i'll dip my ear in the um, warm water with salt water hold on for a minute sorry about that I hope you just got in the house <laughs> you talk to the cats so um let me think what was i oh yeah i had a hot hypotrophic um bump here It was small, but it was like growing. So I figured um, maybe if I wait till, because I, I put the stud in my ear, I think on Friday or Saturday after I pierced it. So I said, okay, I'll wait till Tuesday to see if it clear up. Couldn't wait no longer. It was uncomfortable to sleep in and everything. So I decided to take it out. It hurt. And what I did was I replaced it, and this is an old school method, with a bristle, like a piece of bristle from a hard bristle brush. My mom used to do this a long time ago when I was a little girl to keep my holes from closing. I had to use this, for an example, there's some hard bristles on here. So I cut a piece, soaking in alcohol, and then I will burn one in to look like a little ball wait to cool off and then I just stick it in my ear and that's what I have in my ear now it's a hard a, a bristle my arm brush let me take it out. Um, it don't hurt at all or nothing. And ever since I switched to that and went to my own regular regimen of the salt water, I take my little cotton ball, dip it in the salt water. They all be um, sea salt. Sea salt. Oh my God, my kittens. Lord Jesus. And I just clean it with that. And I use al um, not alcohol, uh, coconut oil and tea tree oil. Now, for the past couple of days, I've been using um, this. You get this at Dollar Tree. Antibiotic. I've been putting that in my ear. And that's been working wonderful and sometimes i'll use that with the tea tree oil and my bump went down in a matter of days 
in a couple of days my book was gone like i wish i had a picture so you could see it let me see if i could zoom in closer so you guys could see that's a closer look the bump is gone and it was black so you guys could get a closer look at my ear talking about this is the bristle let's see the back I'm holding this with my hand this time instead of the tripod I'm gonna push it out so you can really see the that's the hole it doesn't hurt either. Like it was when I put that stud in my head, it was really, really bothering me. And I put that small stud in my head, but it held up just fine. That's what it's looking like right now. Let's get this back in my ear. Stick it in with no problem. I'm doing this with one hand. <laughs> no problem, no issue. It doesn't itch, doesn't irritate, none of that. I used to could like touch this and this will feel irritated. Nope, none of that. Let's close a look at my other ears. That's the other side of my ears. It's not infected. Still healing. But no infections at all. It might be like a little minor swelling here and there, but nope, doesn't bother me. So, that's basically it, and as far as, let me see, my second piercings, they seem to um, be healing fine. Now, this side right here, when I was in the middle of cleaning, um, the back came off and it was burning like crazy. It burned like crazy. So I hurried up and found a new found a new back. It's a plastic one. This one, this one the back looked like this. If you can see that. It looked like this. But I put a plastic one in. So it seemed to be healing fine. Some of the scabs and the dried up leather and stuff like that, it comes out when I clean it. But other than that, it's not really bothering me. Um, I, I relatively get, keep my hand clean. I'll wash my hands and I'll put hand sanitizer before I even deal with the cleaning process. And I stick to my regimen of cleaning it three times a day. When they say clean it three times a day, they mean it. Clean it three times a day to avoid infection. So, as you can see, it's not infected. Um, I try not to bump it too much. As you can see, I got my hand blades and I got it pinned back. So, to give it time for my, my ears to heal. Now, I did wash my hair and I washed my hair in the braids and... My ears wasn't irritated at all or nothing. And keep in mind, this is a home piercing. Get the second ear with these studs in. I did it myself. This is from a home piercing. From a sewing needle. So, that's basically it. I just want to give y'all an update. No infections at all. Thank you for watching. I will keep you guys posted. It will be two weeks, I believe, Thursday since I pierced my ears. Bye, y'all. If you have any questions, um, leave it um, below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.
hit that notification bell and check all the information in the description box and i'll see you guys next time bye